new research study conducted this summer shows what many real estate investors already suspected, that 1,031 exchanges are beneficial for the economy. Repealing 1,031 benefits is something that legislators are toying with as a way to use the capital gains received from these sales to support overall revenue for the company. Many industry experts have argued this for years, especially as Congress has argued that 1,031 exchanges are not that beneficial. The results of this research and others indicates that there are many benefits associated with 1,031 exchanges and that the potential impact of repealing them could be very negative for the entire economy. Company providing liquidity and more investments in the real estate market in general while also providing revenue for the treasury and providing jobs to many people. Misperceptions about limited benefits from 1,031 exchanges is what has this on the chopping block to begin with, but this new study shows the truth behind the concerns. It turns out that government cost estimates may be overstated while the benefits of 1,031 exchanges are being minimized or overlooked entirely. Many investors find it appealing to use the 1,031 exchange over and over again with the same qualified intermediary. The qualified intermediary plays an important role in this process by facilitating the transaction for you. The qualified intermediary working with you accepts the funds on your behalf and then applies them to the second transaction.